right, in this video, what I want to show you guys is how to use the move instruction at a very basic level. The move instruction is actually a very powerful instruction that can really make a program much more simple than it would be without using it. So let me give you an example. So here I have a very basic timer circuit here that I created for another video that you may have watched. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and create a move instruction so I can change my preset value by activating a button. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over to the move slash logic bin and I'm going to add in a rung and I'm going to drop the move instruction in here. Okay, then I'm going to come over here, grab a basic input, call this toggle one that'll actually activate it. Now my source for this and my destination for my move instruction is what is the value and where is it going to? So in this case I want to change my preset time from five seconds to ten seconds. So in here in my source what I can do is just type in 10,000 and hit enter. Then my destination is actually going to be this timer's preset value. So let me watch it. Let me show you how I type that in. Timer one, do not hit enter. I'm going to drop this down, expand this out, and hit preset. And then hit enter here, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Now I show the 5,000 already popped up because that's what's in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, I'm going to copy this rung and drop it down and in this one I'm gonna make my source 5000 make this toggle 2 so now I have the ability to change my timers preset from 5 seconds to 10 seconds based on which toggle was activated last let me go ahead and show you how this works what I'm going to do here, you notice that you have 5,000 in there because that was what I originally had it programmed as. But if I come over here and I toggle this instruction, you notice that 10 moves into that destination. And that 10,000 is in my preset. So now my timer has a preset of 10,000. And I toggle this one, 5,000 moves into it. Now notice it was the last move instruction that's value was moved into that preset value. So if I come here, toggle this off, toggle this one. Now if I want to change it from 5 seconds to 10 seconds, I come here, toggle this, and this could be a selector switch or a push button. There's a ton of different ways to then control this move instruction. So if you need a cylinder to come out for 5 seconds, you might want to toggle this one here. If you want the cylinder to come out for 10 seconds, that's how it's actually run and uh, that's how the move instruction works. It works the same for counters, timers. I hope this explained a little bit about the move instruction and I hope the video helped.